Again, as I said, uh, my name is Craig Klein. I'm the CEO and founder of SalesNexus. And what we're going to do today is talk about how we can grow your business. Um, SalesNexus is different from most folks in the CRM, sales automation, marketing automation, technology business, in that we just come at this from a whole different angle. Um, our mission as a company is to grow your business. Now, what I don't mean is that our mission is to grow our business and by selling you technology and, and oh, by the way, if it happens to help you grow, then that's great too, but our main focus is growing our own business. That's not the way we think about the world. Our mission statement as a company is to grow as many businesses as we can because we believe that when your business grows, the world is a better place. In other words, your employees' lives are improved. You hire more people. All of their families are better off. The communities within which they live are better off. Your customers are better off because of the great products and services that you're providing them. And this is all go trickling throughout the whole economy, of course. And we're all better off because you're out there doing what you're doing growing your business. And we just want to help you do that. That's our mission. That's why we're here. So today, I want to show you some basics of how you can do that. Um, so to start off, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page and get kind of a, a feeling for who you are and, and what your priorities are. So I'm going to start a little poll here. Uh, you should see that showing up right now. Um, so just uh, answer that question there. What are your top priorities? There's kind of a, a list of things that people are typically interested in when we're looking at the kind of technology that we offer. Uh, and I just want to see um, what you guys' priorities are because uh, it can vary from audience to audience and want to make sure we focus our time on the right things. Um, so I'll leave that up for um, a few more seconds, and then we'll wrap it up and um, kind of share the results with you and, and go from there. Um, okay, so if I close that and then share it, there you go. You should be seeing that now. Um, so it looks like 80% uh, of you are interested in lead and client nurturing and then um, lead generation and sales accountability and information integration comes in last. So that's good, perfect, because we're gonna hit on all of those high priority items there. Um, so let me hide that and we'll get back to the, the slides here. I've got a few more slides I'm gonna go through just to kind of uh, set the framework here and then we'll get into actually looking at some, uh, some real live technology. Um, and talking about how you can really leverage that. So just to contrast the options that you have out there, as many of you probably already know, uh, because you probably already have one, you know, uh, most of the solutions available out there are a CRM platform that you can subscribe to. And then when you want to do other things like marketing automation or doing some advanced analytics and reporting, then there are sort of, um, add-on applications that you can subscribe to additionally that sort of bolt on to that CRM platform, right? Um, so what happens is you end up with this really complex system that has a lot of risk of failure because, you know, if the marketing automation is part of your process for taking your web leads, for instance, and managing them through the funnel, and it breaks for some reason, then your whole business process is broken. Um, so what that means is you end up with needing a bunch of consultants to help you set it all up and maintain it, or either that or somebody on your team spending a considerable amount of time. And it gets very costly and time consuming. And it's also really hard to make changes because of the complexity. And that slows you down as well, because really, you're going to need to iterate on this. You're going to try things. You're going to measure what happens, and then you're going to make changes. And if that change is difficult, well, that 
then you're going to make less changes and means you're going to get where you're going slower. That's why with Sales Nexus, what we've done is combine the, all of that into one offering. The CRM, the sales automation, the lead generation, the marketing automation, the reporting and business analytics is all in the same platform built to be easy to use for a, a sales team. And we provide the implementation services to help you get it set up, fit to your business, right out of the box as a part of the package. There's no additional cost. Um, it's not an hourly rate. It's built into the package. And we're going to support you in a way that you won't find anywhere else going forward. Um, the short version of that story is that um, the average customer lifetime in the CRM business is two years. Most people sign up to something like a Salesforce and in two years are looking for something else. Um, our average customer lifetime is five and a half years. Customers sign up to Sales Nexus and they stay a lot longer. And we think it's because of the way we get in there and help you get it right for your unique business. So one of the things that we're going to try and help you do is set the system up so that your salespeople are doing what they're doing. They're not spending a bunch of time managing campaigns and sending emails and stuff like that. But automatically, your customers are getting the right message, being put in the right hands and personalized for each individual, and it's going out at just the right time when that particular subject matters to that person. And this just happens automatically. So what it lets you do is take your customer's typical buying process, which would be this here at the top, you know, they go from awareness, I'm just kind of, well, I'm, maybe I have a problem, to, okay, now let me look into some possible answers to that problem. I'm in the education stage, and then I'm getting engaged with vendors. I'm actually talking to salespeople, and then finally I'm making decisions. Well, automatically, you could be sending out messages that are timed for that stage in the buying process. So if I'm just at the awareness or beginning the education phase, then maybe case studies are appropriate. But if I'm way down here, I've been talking to lots of different vendors, and I'm getting close to making a decision, then I want to see financial information, you know, ROI, what's it going to cost, and straight up comparisons of the different options that I have, right? So these messages might not be appropriate if you switched it all around, right? Well, with Sales Nexus, you're automatically be, going to be putting the right message in the right hands. Now, that's awesome, and you can do that, and that's a simple way to get started. But where things get really powerful is you're going to then integrate that into your sales process. In other words, let's say that you want to target a new market. Maybe it's a new territory, you know, you're moving into a new state, or maybe there's a different industry that you think your products and services are applicable to that you haven't focused on in the, in the past. So you can build up a list, an email list, in that new market and put them on an automated campaign that's sending sort of awareness type emails over a period of time and then only when they engage with those emails and they can start to move through the process and see different messages. And then as they interact with each of those emails, they click, in other words, to watch a video or download a report or whatever, your salespeople are being alerted in real time. Hey, Bob just clicked on your email to watch this particular video. So the salesperson can call them up and they know exactly what to talk about. They know what that customer is interested in because they know what they were just looking at. That turns a what would otherwise be a very time consuming, costly cold calling outbound campaign into a very warm, highly effective campaign because your salespeople are focusing their time on people that have already raised their hand and said, hey, I'm interested in this. So it just supercharges your sales process. So what kind of results can you expect from this? So with a, uh, this is example from a Typical customer, um, 10 salespeople, 
20% close rate, 5 million in annual sales. So within six months, they were averaging an additional $42,000 in monthly sales. By the end of the year, $497,000 in additional sales for the year. So that's almost a 10% increase in sales just by putting that kind of outbound lead generating and nurturing and sales alert process in place. Um, so that's pretty typical. 10% just from the lead generation and nurturing. That's not to mention that you're going to be holding your sales people accountable, managing a sales process. You're going to be able to bring on new salespeople and show them how to do their job and monitor them as they learn much more effectively and what that's worth. So what does it cost to get something like this in place? Well, these are costs from from most of our competitors. So, you know, the big names in the industry that you all know, these are the kind of costs that you'd be looking at. You've got to subscribe to the CRM platform, like we talked about before, but you've also then got to subscribe to that marketing automation platform as well, uh, which is almost as just as expensive. And you may need to subscribe to two or three other things to, to do the, all the things that you need to do. Um, so what you end up with at that point is the tools and the materials that you need. So think of it like, like you're buying a house, right? Well, some of you may be very experienced contractors um, and may know how to take all the tools and materials and turn it into a nice looking house that you can move your family into. I don't, that's for sure. Uh, my brother got that gene. Um, so when you subscribe to these tools, that's what you're getting is sort of the raw materials. You're going to have to set it all up and make it work for the, your business because the way you do business and the way everybody else in the world does business is different. And so there's no out-of-the-box solution that's really going to get you all the way there. You're going to have to invest some time and money in setting it all up. So next thing you know, you've got all these people running around your house doing stuff, right? Uh, building it, putting it together. Well, that can be just as costly as the subscriptions to the technology. You've got to clean up the data that you have because garbage in, garbage out, right? You've got to customize the solution. That means, you know, creating fields to capture the unique things you need to know about your customers, creating reports that are unique to what you measure in your business, um, building processes, automating them, creating all the marketing content, these emails and things like that. Uh, and then training the team and getting everybody really using it. Oh, and then you got to support everyone, right? It's not as if all the salespeople are going to go to one training session and go, aha, I got it, and never have another question, right? Uh, or that you're never going to need to ch make a little change here or there. Well, with most platforms, what they offer in terms of their built-in support is like a two-day turnaround in response time. So you, it's Friday, you're running some reports, trying to get ready for the Monday sales meeting, right? And you you ask a question. Well, you're not even going to hear back from them until Tuesday. So I don't know about you, but if this is mission critical for my sales team, that's not good enough. With Sales Nexus, everybody gets premium support. It's built into the package. So anyway, these are pretty typical costs not inflated. You can do your own research. Uh, in fact, um, we'd be happy to share some uh, studies on typical costs of implementing CRM with you. Um, what you're going to find is for a group of 10 people, it typically is going to run you in the first year thirty-five dollars to $45,000, including all of the technology subscriptions and the implementation costs. That's typical. Could be higher. With Sales Nexus, we bundled it all together into one package, and it's nineteen thousand dollars. Now, this includes premium support, like I mentioned. Nobody offers support like we do. Uh, I would encourage you to 
to chat with our team via our website and you'll see you'll get a feel for that uh, it's same day response uh, chats built right into the the user interface where they're answering your questions in seconds uh, we're going to take you through a very in-depth implementation process we're going to consult with your team to identify your sales processes build the tool around your sales processes we're going to understand the different audiences that you have to stay in front of whether it be new leads leads that are coming in that need to be nurtured existing clients that need to be presented with opportunities to buy additional products and services um, all of that we're going to write those emails and create those campaigns and get them started for you and we're going to integrate Sales Nexus with your other systems. So if you have an ERP or accounting system and you want to be able to exchange information back and forth, we have an open API that makes that real easy. We can integrate with a lot of ERP and accounting systems, even back in, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, homegrown systems that you know you may be using something that you guys built from scratch to run your operation. Well, we can make Sales Nexus talk to that. We have a lot of different strategies for that. Um, we're going to help you set up management dashboards so that at a sales management level you're tracking and measuring the salespeople in a way that's going to be actionable for you. Um, I talked about the email marketing. We're going to help you create those campaigns. And we're going to help you automate a lot of the workflow. So, you know, you talk to a client and you change their status from suspect to prospect, they automatically go on a new campaign, a special campaign for prospects. Um, all of that's included in the $19,000 for 10 users. If you have more users, the price will go up. If you have fewer users, it'll go down. So what you're getting is a nice custom-built home for you and your family to move into, not the pieces and parts and not all the people running around your, your building for the next six months. So the cost is lower because it's all of this consulting is not a, a profit center for us it's a means to an end so that's how we know you're going to stay a customer much longer because you're going to be happy with your home right um, so what we're going to help you do is plan for a successful implementation we're going to get the sales help you get the sales people using it that's the key most of you probably know, if you don't get the salespeople using it, the whole thing's undermined from the get-go, right? Um, we're going to customize it so it's easy for them to do what they need to do and that so that they get valuable things out of the system. We're going to help you make sure you're getting consistent data input in the areas where you really need to measure things closely and that you're getting actionable management metrics. That's how you find success with a CRM. We've been doing this for 14 years and we've got a pretty good formula to take you through this process and get you up and going in a relatively quick time frame. Typically it runs between 30 and 60 days to get all the way up and going. So let me jump into the technology. So just to give you an example of how this can impact your business. This is my dashboard. This is real data. This is what I look at every day. Um, you know, so all kinds of CRMs out there, and everybody can show you their super cool dashboards, right, that are out of the box and look really sexy. Well, the problem is, just as I have right here, qualified leads by day, right? So I can see, you know, by sales rep, how many leads are we qualifying each day, right? Uh, so I can go down the hall and and uh, give Nick a high five today because he's qualified three, right? Um, and I can keep track of how many calls everybody's logging. Well, that's awesome. And if you can't do that today in real time, then that probably seems really cool, right? The problem is it's not really actionable, right? Because I don't really know who they're calling. Um, so that's where the, the rubber hits the road. That's that last mile of getting a CRM right. What I really need to know, like in our business, there's a huge difference between an account that has two users and an account that has 20, right? Um, that's what makes the difference to us in terms of economic value. 
in your business is going to be different things. It's going to be, you know, how many square foot they have or how many plants they have or how many employees they have. Whatever those things are, we're going to help you set the system up so that your salespeople can capture that data right then and there when they're talking to customers. And we're going to build your dashboards and reports and metrics around those uh, details. And, oh, by the way, you can make changes yourself and you don't need a consultant. So if I want to go in and change that dashboard so that instead of just measuring um, how many calls got logged, I'm going to look specifically for how many calls did we make to larger clients, right? Because that's what really matters to me. So I just go right in here and I say, um, I have an, uh, a field called employee size. That's where we keep track of how many users you might have. And if you have greater than five users, that's what I want to know about, right? So I hit save and boom, you can see the, the graph has changed significantly, right? So point is, most other systems, just to do that, you had to call a consultant and wait a week, right? With SalesNexus, you go in there, you make the change, you're good to go. Because now I can walk down the hall and I can go, uh, you know, hey, Chandler, how come on Monday you really weren't reaching out to the big guys? What's going on? You know? Um, so we're going to help you set things up so that the things you're measuring are the things that really matter, the things that drive your business. Now, we talked about the marketing automation and lead generation earlier. Let me just show you how that works. So here's a dashboard where I'm just kind of keeping track of the leads coming in to our system and, you know, how many and what quality and things like that. Um, so if I want to take a list of leads and put them on a campaign, I'm going to take these web search leads that came through our website, right? If I click that list, click that link there, there's the list. And now I can take that list and put them on a campaign, right? So I go up here to campaigns and I say add to campaign and I search for the campaign I'm looking for. So I'm going to find my lead nurture campaign and you can see what this is. Every seven days they get an email for seven weeks, right? So I can set the time so and the date. So if I want that to start on Monday. Actually, Monday might not be good because that's Memorial Day. Let's do Tuesday. Uh, and I can say what time I want it to go out. Um, and here is really the magic. See, click notification. So now when these emails go out, first of all, it's set it and forget it. I hit add to campaign here and those emails are going out. I could log off and go on vacation and they're all going out. And whenever somebody gets one of those emails and clicks on it, my sales rep's going to know instantly so that they can pick up the phone and call them, right? Or maybe that's not what you want. The way we do it sometimes is if, for instance, um, if you're an existing client, we're not necessarily going to hit you with sales calls every time you demonstrate a little bit of interest in something. But when you click on uh, an email we send out about creating better dashboards, then we're going to automatically put you on a different campaign that's more in-depth information about dashboards, right? So we can have multiple layers and sort of nurture you through your sales funnel or an education process, as the case may be. So let me show you what that looks like for the salesperson. So I'm going to go look at Justin, who's one of our salespeople. Let me just sort this. So we'll pull some of these to the top. So you see all of these. Click notifications. So all day, every day, salespeople are coming into their task list, and that's just, here's the people I need to call today, or meetings, or whatever. But, you know, for, a, for an inside sales rep or someone working the phone, um, it's going to be mostly calls like this. 
And so I'm just sitting there making my calls, and then all of a sudden these click notifications start showing up. These are people that just received an email from me, and I should call, right? They're raising their hand. You can see here's some people that click the notification to uh, register for the uh, webinar that we're doing right now. But here's some other ones. Let's just drill into one of those. So if I go over here and we look at the notes, I can see all of the emails that Sarah here has received. But this one in particular, I can see exactly what she clicked on. So when I call her up, I'm not just saying, hey, Sarah, this is Craig with Sales Nexus, and we provide a blah, 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 right, and she's hanging up on me. I'm saying, hey, Sarah, I noticed you were looking at that video about leaving leads on the table. What would you think about that, right? So I'm getting right to what I know is on her mind. Um, this works every time it's tried. It's a great way to supercharge the sales process and really focus the salespeople on the people that are interested at any given moment. Now let me show you a couple of more practical elements. So here I am on a contact record. You can see here the system has automatically pulled in Lucy's profile picture. Um, so when you put in a new customer, our system's automatically going to go try and find their profile. It doesn't find all of them, but it finds a lot of them. And I have um, links to her LinkedIn and Twitter. So if I want to see her LinkedIn profile, I just click the link there, right? Um, but if I go look at the notes, you can see, I can see where uh, we've had calls with her, we've got notes, she's gotten a lot of emails, and not just marketing emails, but what you're seeing right here are regular emails that we've exchanged with Lucy that our system automatically archives for you. So all of your or email correspondence is automatically captured. So I click that link there and it opens it up for me in Outlook just as if I still had it in my inbox and I can reply to it and forward it and everything. So your salespeople are moving quickly. They're running from one customer to the next. They're doing what they need to do to manage their pipeline. And the system is helping them stay focused on filling the top of the funnel, right? That's one of the number one challenges we all have when it comes to managing salespeople, right? We have the cyclical process where they get busy closing deals and they're not focused on filling the top of the funnel. And so the next month, they really don't do well at all, right? And it goes back and forth. Well, with Sales Nexus, um, the system is automatically pinging the salesperson and saying, hey, you should call this person. And they're just consistently putting people in the top of the funnel. Oh, and by the way, if you need to have access to more people to talk to, um, Sales Nexus comes with access to more contacts. So um, let's say that um, I'm looking to talk to HR managers, you know, at least a management level or higher, right? Um, so I can check that level and the profession or the department that I want to uh, talk to. I could filter by number of employees, revenue, SIC code, you know, the industry they're in. I can do it based on, you know, a zip code and a radius around that on a map. Um, a lot of different options to get right at the, the contacts that matter to you the most. But I'll hit search here and you'll see what happens. So this is leadferret.com. Leadferret's our partner. It's a separate company, but we're partnered together. And when you 
subscribe to Sales Nexus, you get access to Lead Ferret. Um, I would encourage you actually to go ahead and start your own free account on Lead Ferret now. You can go in there and search. There's no cost. They're not going to ask for a credit card or any of that stuff. And you can search around and see what you can find that's of value to you. You can see here, it came back with 149,000 HR professionals, right? So I could come in and you know, let's just look at one of these records. You know, I'm getting their address and their uh, main phone number and um, I get the title and the email address and the social links of the contacts that are returned, right? So I can come in and cherry pick the list and say, well, I like Marion and Mary and Paul and Ann and go up here and say transfer selected to Sales Nexus. Or I can say give me them all, right, um, and transfer those to Sales Nexus. Either way, it's just going to ask me for my Sales Nexus logon information and I hit transfer and it moves them right over to Sales Nexus. You get 500 lead ferret contacts per user per month. So that means if you have 10 people using Sales Nexus, you're getting 5,000 contacts from lead ferret every month. So you could build up a nice big list in t states that you're not working in right now and just start reaching out to those folks or industries you're not working on now um, and just fill sales nexus with as many possible prospects as possible put them on one of these automatic email drip campaigns and your salespeople don't even have to worry about it. they don't even know about it all they know is click notifications start showing up on their task list and just like we talked about here's some that I transferred over earlier so I could take this lead this list of lead ferret contacts and put them on a campaign just like we looked at earlier and if your salespeople are not going to be in the office a lot instead of the click notification on their task list in sales nexus they can get an email It'll have the contacts information, their phone number, and what they clicked on. So um, let's see. Before we wrap it up here, let me check and see what kind of questions we have. Um, here's a couple um, coming in um, about Lead Ferret. Yes, that's, um, I know it's kind of hard to believe, but yes. 500 lead ferret contacts each month per person. So again, if you have 10, con 10 users of Sales Nexus, you're getting 5,000 lead ferret contacts each month, and you're adding those to your database. So over the course of a year, that's 60,000 new contacts, right, um, that you're emailing. And here's another question related to that. Um, with SalesNexus, you can send 25,000 emails per person per month. And that's aggregated so that, again, if you have two, 10 people using SalesNexus, company-wide, you can send 250,000 emails. So you can build up that 60,000 name list and send out an email to them four times a month, right? Um, yeah, okay, uh, here's another question. Yes, you can import uh, Excel files into Sales Nexus, you know, so if you have leads coming from other sources, you can connect it with your website. So leads coming from your website will go right in and automatically go on a campaign. Uh, if you're going to trade shows, you can load in the attendee list and things like that. And also, uh, if you're currently using some other CRM, we can transfer that in, and, and there's a little devil in the details there. Um, a lot of companies will tell you, oh, yeah, sure, we'll, we can transfer over your existing CRM contacts. And what they mean is just the names and phone numbers and emails, but not all the notes and the history and the scheduled meetings and 
calls and follow-ups and things like that. Um, and they'll, but they'll let you believe that it includes all that, and you'll find out sort of the hard way. Um, with Sales Nexus, we can transfer all that. Um, some of the old school contact management systems like ACT and Goldmine, and some of the newer ones like Salesforce and other systems like that. Uh, they'll give you a backup, and we know how to take that backup file and migrate it into Sales Nexus so that everything makes it, even your custom fields and things like that. Okay, um, so what do we do next? Well, um, if you and your company are actively engaged in searching for a CRM, if you've decided you're going to put something in place and it looks like Sales Nexus might be a good fit for you, then reach out to one of our representatives and we'll set up a dedicated go to webinar, go to meeting for your team only, where we'll really get into what are your business processes, what are your sales and marketing needs, and really look closely at how Sales Nexus is going to address those specific needs. If you're still not sure that implementing a CRM and marketing automation system is the right thing for you right now, um, that is completely understandable. And so, um, what we can help you do is put together what we call our, uh, an investment summary so that you can see what type of return your company specifically should expect to see from implementing a system like this. I talked earlier in the presentation about increasing sales by 10%. Well, depending upon the market you're in, the number of leads you're going through every, every month, the number of salespeople you have, the deal size, those kind of things will change how the math works for you, right? So if, um, if you get on the phone with one of our representatives, in five or 10 minutes, they'll collect a few, just four or five little details like that from you and put together an investment summary that will show you an expected return for your company specifically that you can share with the rest of the people on your team. So reach out to us and uh, we can get either a demo started or, or scheduled or get an investment summary put together for you. Thank you. Appreciate everybody's time and hope you all have a great afternoon. Thank you.